What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another installment of Chronicles of Teddy, Finding Teddy 2, whatever the hell we're ultimately going to end up calling this game. we got to come up with a definite answer by the time the last broadcast happens. So, um, we got all of our health, we're good to go, we're going to go back to the swamp and get another rock there, because that's what the not-so-vague, vague hint system has been telling us. Because, like, look, there's one there in the mountains, there's one in the swamp, and then there's one in the snow. So I'm like, God damn, Tom, you're a stupid idiot. You didn't figure that out, so... So that's, that's not my brightest moment, so... Going back to... The swamp. Um, okay, go left past the river, an underground waterfall that runs to the frozen door above. And there's a... There's a fair bit of places to, uh... Explore in all of these once we get all the, uh... The gems and, and and like the double jumping. I mean, like we, I I could do a lot of that right now, but we'll wait. We're here with a purpose. When we get the final music com piece, when we get the final, I mean, like the super scroll or master scroll, I should say. Super su super scroll is that's. I'm pretty sure there's something like that in like Ninja Gaiden. There's like the skull a, a scroll. God damn, I'm getting skull and scroll. Mashed up into one word here. That's not supposed to happen. Okay, so it's probably this place right here. Nope! Need the master scroll. Go left past the river and the underground waterfall. Well, underground waterfall. And we, that's pretty far from here. But hey, look what I can get now. With the greatest of ease. Screw you! Hold on. Oh damn it. I was gonna say ever so gently jump up and... But I can do this again! It's so great. <laughs> oh my god, I can do that to you too. The horsehair jump will reign supreme. You don't have to rely on clever swordplay anymore. And more importantly, don't have to worry about accidentally running into them at close range. Jesus. You saw how many times that made me, uh... take damage and hits that didn't need to happen. Whoops. What the flurking schnit? I was down thrusting and I somehow still took damage for that? Say it ain't so, Joe. Alright. Underground waterfall. So, I mean, that's like... That's pretty far to the... We just started. We just started. God, man. Crash count seven, question mark? All right, we're back. We'll see how long we last this time. Pretty crazy that this keeps happening, but whatever, man. As long as I don't go breaking no TVs, we'll be fine. <laughs> I still can't believe that happened. This game will have forever left its mark on me. It, it, this, this game has taken a piece of me with it. Like I said, in a previous episode, the opposite of love is not hate, it's indifference. And I love this game this much that it drove me that crazy. And it's really surprising that it's taken me this long to realize... And I keep talking about this all the time. Focus on what you can do, not what you can't do. I'm surprised that it's taken me this long into replaying this to not attack 
uh, the shielded guys in a conventional manner. You know, it's taken me this long to realize to do the horse hair hop is much more effective than trying to square up and go toe to toe with him. Um, I really wish I had uh, come to that realization earlier because that would have made me not freaking get murdered by this freaking jelly. God damn it. But, you know, you live, you learn, and should I ever decide to play this game again, which I probably will, to do that instead of trying to engage them one-on-one -on -one in the sense that you would traditionally do, and then I can still do stuff like that. Yeet. <laughs> See, now I kind of have to, because... Well, see, I didn't want to run into him. Wow. What makes you so special that you suddenly get to, 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 to change how the, 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 the attack collision detection is working? How dare you? Alright, so it says underwater, underground waterfall is where, uh, where we need to be heading. I believe this is the screen just before this is where the thing froze on us. Oh, two for one special. Big effing fish. Just out of reach and it still goes through. Whoops. You. Those birds remind me of the ones from Back to the Future that make that weird cawing sound like it's from the uh, Fly Like an Eagle song. Seriously, if you listen to the like, listen listen to the whole track of Fly Like an Eagle, and then it starts making this weird fluttering vr vr sound towards the end of the song. And it's all isolated by itself. It's supposed to be like whimsical air flying sound effects of an eagle flying away. And it's like, and then you play Back to the Future 2 and 3 on the NES. And there's these birds that attack you. And I swear on the life of my cats, the sound that they make is the same sound that you hear in that song. Maybe they're supposed to be eagles. Maybe that's the joke. Maybe they're trying to like pull that reference out of their hat. Okay, I think I've officially gone past where I need- whoops, that wasn't supposed to happen. Maybe I'm supposed to be going up in here? There's ice. Tafa. Whoops. Flame thrower. How you gonna know a? Oh, you've got a helmet on. But that's okay, cause the the trick to beating you guys was to do the the down thrust on the back of your noggins. Eza, and then run like hell. Down. Run like hell. Wall jump. Hmm. Oh, 
Okay. Come over here, buddy. Oh, okay, I got a hit on him. So according to the guide, it says the thing does half of your health. Okay. Well, it's unfortunate that I had to do that to get that, but whatever. I don't think that's actually half my health, but whatever. And here comes the other rock, I presume. Yep, sure enough. Okay, so now we can go. We've gotten everything that we need to get so far. Um... Okay. Let me just check to see where the red orb is. Maybe I can actually get that right now. Okay, so I can't get the red orb until after it's done. So... Okay, so we're gonna go and we're gonna head towards the Monster's Valley. relatively quiet and gonna be coming back in here for you big boy Ooh, that was close and it's good that her platform it whoops just about to pay it a compliment, I get hit, but it was really my own fault. It's good that she is precise in her movement. See, I, I that's that's all me doing that right there. Mwah. You can do up thrust, down thrust in single motion. You don't even have to wait for it to end, you know, that's that that's good. So really take advantage of that. Also, the other trick that I had made mention earlier that you can turn around on the running. You see if you just go you you, you you, 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 you slide, but if you let go and you turn around, you can just keep going without a hitch. Actually, what's in there? Boo! Oh, can't go in there. I need the super scroll. Master scroll. Whatever it is, man. So once we finish that, we'll have the final music comp piece, we'll have the orb, so then we'll start doing mop-up and go back through all the levels. Actually, I guess we technically could start in, um, in, uh, Monsters Valley, but we'll probably save that for last. Oh, Jesus. Going out there without a recovery gem? That's, uh... I don't know what I was thinking. But, that has been corrected. See, it would be really too bad if I, you know, can't get the spider coin and the gold overalls at the same time, because 
I was so sure that I was going to be able to get it early on that I already put 486 gems into that, so I really hope it does work out that I can afford to get both. Alright, before we make the move to Monsters Valley, let us save. And now we can go towards the Monsters Valley. Um, we went right last time with no real great effect. Let's let's go left. Let's go left this time. Cause we we went left and then the game froze on us, so we never really Whoops. Take care of him, he's the bigger threat because he can he's more mobile. Really don't have to worry about you because you're you're at a fixed altitude. Now where where Okay. Bullshit. What's in here? Bad news. Yeah, so we'll uh, just do what we normally do, which is explore... Oh, Jesus. Which is just explore everything outside before venturing in of doors anywhere. That works so unbelievably well. And it works on all of them. It doesn't matter what color they are. It, it works on all of them. Come on, fire, go out. Oh, that's a gem. Whoops. That wasn't supposed to happen, but that was cool. Oh, I need... I need red... red... red orb. Got some Iza action going on over there. Whoops! Ooh! No! Damn it. Oh, the game took pity on me. Screw you! Well, now that the path is clear, I can actually just do this. Eza. Yes, give me the gems. Feels so good on my skin. Eza. All right. It's permanently locked. Like, there's no wind-up animation for the release. It's just perfectly in sync to your... Look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna test it. Watch where I am and where it is. Okay, now that... It, <laughs> that's not fair. Okay. See, it's always in perfect sync to your proximity. Well, it wasn't the first time when I was trying to demonstrate it, but, like, look at it. It will always drop as soon as it's within range, which makes it impossible. Okay, so it, okay, so it only works from approaching from the right. If you do it from the left, it doesn't work. But it's always in sync with where the... See? Yeah. But it's always in sync with your position right justified. So you, it's impossible to outrun it. It always knows where you're going to be. That's that's questionable. Look. <laughs> Bullshit.
What? Hmm, door. Neat. We'll come back to it. No? Nothing up here? Oh, look, green. Why is there a corona of light around me? You idiot. You fool! Yeah, get those gems. And we go back because I want to see what the green thing is. God damn it. Yes, use the spikes as a platform. I would think that uh, this girl and hat girl from a hat in time would hang out and have like mad crazy parties. They'd be like, you think you've seen some shit? Let me tell you what I saw the other day. Because our little sword-toting protagonist is like... You see spikes? Yeah. Don't let them rule your life. You can stand on them, just don't get impaled by them. You know, it just occurred to me, there's no spell to recall you to the, the, the beginning of the level. That would be actually kind of useful for getting out of uh, places in a hurry. in the event that you needed to, like, go get health or something like that. Alright, so now we are officially in of doors. Damn it. How dare you. That's right, die. Fire go out. Damn, my ultimate technique no longer is a valid move in here because of the low ceiling. My ultimate technique! Um, excuse me. Don't do that. I didn't even see what he did! Okay, I remember there was... either a gem or a firefly in this area because there was something weird with the ceiling. Far right. Oh, I gotta do ease out. Whoops. And now we run. Sounds like a firefly. Kill this thing before something really bad happens. Kill that thing too before something else really bad. It sounded like a firefly because I, I thought I heard chiming. Oh, hello. There was a gem. Okay, and here's a firefly. So, yeah, I found a gem. Okay, so it's in this room right here.
Okay, and it's this stalactite looking medili. Okay, so there was a gem and there was a firefly, so that was a two for one. So we'll come back and get the firefly once we have all the music comp pieces, so that way we can check all the boxes and go right down the line. But I should probably save, just because we don't have to worry about, like, if we lose that gem piece or not. Guess what? I can do this again. The ceiling's high enough. Oh. Not worth it. You fool. Oh dear. The frame rate is not doing well here. That's not Elgato Jitter. That is the game. And it is not having a happy time right now. Holy balls. Run. Hey, look, I needed to come down here anyway. It's just not worth- it's just not worth fighting those guys in that cramped space with a crumbling floor. It's more heartache. And now I can use my ultimate technique. Kicking your ass. Seriously, I, I had to have done something like that for Zelda 2. That's so effective. Why did it take me so long to realize that? Unlike Zelda 2, they actually thought about the, uh, the whole down thrust thing. I don't think you could actually hurt them. Like, well, the ceilings were pretty low to begin with. There were some instances where it was high enough that you could do a super jump over them, but that's what you did when you were a small child and then you were young and afraid of losing things. Me want to fight Razira. I'll fight Razira on your behalf. I'll be your errant. I got gems. Okay. Cool. Let's talk to the citizens of this of this place and see what they got to say. What's up? Word Isa destroy protection. Okay. So we're probably gonna have to do something with Isa on the boss. What about you, buddy? What you got? Find rock to ice. Okay. What about you, friendo? I like the sun, too. The sun is a mass of incandescent gas, a gigantic nuclear furnace, where hydrogen is converted into helium at temperatures of millions of degrees. Shout out to all the They Might Be Giants fans that are watching right now. And yes, I'm very aware that they did a follow-up sun saying the sun is not a mass of incandescent gas or whatever it was. I, I know it exists, I just haven't heard it yet. I'm really hoping those guys will come back to DC sometime soon. Go down to Norfolk and pick up Woody Man, and then drive back up and we'll uh, make a day out of it. You, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We want to go to the library? I'll take it to the library, come with me. Hold on. 
Or it used that destroy protection. Gotcha. Okay, but like, this dude up here just said something that probably is super important. Hold on. You tell want rock to door. Want rock. Okay. So if we find a door that's locked, we gotta tell him we want a rock. <laughs> Uh, there's another They Might Be Giant song. We want to rock. Want to tie a string around. Be like the sky. I like the sky too. Everybody wants prosthetics. Foreheads on their real heads. You want to jump? I'll jump. I jump. You jump with me. Come on, jump. 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 Or not. That's cool too. Me want, again, diamond. Um, I, I'm working on it. Live or die. Okay. Seems, seems like a fair thing. Here, volcano. You don't say. Me find power to palace. What is that? No. Uh, let me go with yes. Library, diamond, sky, volcano, CC. I shouldn't have closed out. Now I don't know what the other words I learned. Don't be a negative Nancy. Be a yes man, Gerard. I'm working on finding rock. Oh, oh, he's, he wants the rock? Well, I found pieces of a rock. But looks like that's the dude we need to talk to. Tafa ch word change ice to fire. Oh, is that what it is? Is that what it's turning it into? you over here you again find rock for repair key okay there's four rocks I got I need one more okay so this dude's telling me tell you want rock whoops and that guy is telling me I need to find more now is it you find rock to ice Oh, okay, he's probably talking about finding the rock in the ice. Or it is a destroy protection, good to know. Black sky. Well, okay, at this point, we know we need to find one more rock. Is there any other doors in here? Oh, there are, Jesus. So there's like four. So we'll go up to that one next, but we'll go ahead and call it right here for right now. You, again, find rock for repair key. Well, we're working on it. We're working on it. I'm walking here. I'm walking here. So let's save. And we'll go ahead and reconvene and pick it up where we left off. And go ahead and see if we can find the rock and move forward and maybe possibly get our way on into the palace. So until then, uh, see y'all next time. Thank you so much for watching. And until then, ciao, ciao.